what we have here is a TAT 36 inch spinner stamp steel motor devil horn blade irons I like those switch housing that is practically round I like that all socket canopy the mounting bracket for this one is cast aluminum This was probably, I'd say, 83, maybe 84. Very early ball socket for TAT. This was before they made everything with zinc or even stamped steel. They just did cast aluminum. Looks similar to an old recalled Newtone mounting bracket. This fan, I don't know where it came from. All I know is it came off a of marketplace. And it looks like it was basically new Sans box. The pull chain is shiny. The tassel is present. Kind of makes you think it didn't really get much use. So. Let's see how this thing performs. Shall we? Right off the bat, it is very, very hummy. Almost as though it has a cyclic flux buzz. I feel like it does have a cyclic flux buzz. So the low speed is fast. This thing could probably benefit from a four speed pull chain and a capacitor to make it just a little slower. Because this is needlessly fast for a low speed. seems like high speed, right? You would think You would think No, it's loud A little wobble So, needless to say, even stamped, these things haul ass. And this particular one is loud as hell. Now the really nice ones to find have the flower pot bell canopy, even cast motor. Really nicer one to find is the one that's variable speed. Which, like other similar tats, there was no pull chain. It was literally just a variable speed knob and that was it. I have a couple of ornate. I have a couple of ornate tats that are like that. Where there is no pull chain. There's just a reverse toggle switch. And the variable speed knob, and that's the switch. Kind of dumb, if you ask me.
performance is okay. There's not a lot of blade pitch to work with. So this one really is industrial based in that it runs more off of speed than pitch. I like how these ones have a brass switch housing. It really gives it that white and brass appeal. And there you have it, the 36-inch TAT spinner.